What's up everybody? Hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to this video. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, and in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at Cosmos or the Atom token, which we haven't taken a look at in a long time. Uh, even though when the market is down like this, I tend to analyze all of the bigger cryptos and Cosmos is definitely one of the bigger networks, uh, also one of the older ones. A lot of networks are based on Cosmos, uh, such as Terra used to be. Um, I, I don't know if it's operational now already uh, already again. And, and Terra has uh, changed up some things, but it's it's built on like the developer kit of, of Adam of, or of, of Cosmos. So just, uh, just a fun fact. Um, but I wanted to take a look at it since today it's actually a relatively bullish 8% eight, uh, 8 up against the market, a little bit more than, um, than Bitcoin and stuff, or at least they're neutral, <clears throat> uh, fairly neutral day on the whole market as well. Cosmos, one of the, one of the gainer, but you also have quite a bit, uh, that are dropping like Gala, Graph, phantom mainly the ones that actually had quite uh, good days and weeks in the last couple of days uh so days not weeks last week was bearish overall uh, so if we take a look at adam we, we we did a good thing yesterday this is a daily time frame because what we did yesterday is we broken above this 11.5 10.5 level which is a good thing because now i think we can actually get up to this level here at 14.5 um because i think if you definitely compare Adam with, with other cryptos, other cryptos have actually already made this move. So you can check it out that, that Adam right now is up 43%. Other cryptos did reach something like this. And I think Atom can, can do that again. I am expecting um, another bullish spike at least. Uh, I'm not saying Adam is going to be bullish because if, if we reach that area over the last week, it's, it's still bearish and over the last month, definitely. But I do expect that spike. So... Uh, I think we're either going to get that off of 11.5 or a little bit lower here at 10.5. Take a break, retest off of that level and shoot up. Uh, from there, as I said, I don't expect us to be that bullish. I do expect us to drop down again, something like this. Uh, to drop down again uh, immediately uh, down to that level between 11.5 uh, and 10.7 again. Um, <clears throat> now, maybe we should zoom in a little bit. And that was probably behind the camera, but... Um, we can do it better right now, but maybe we should zoom into the four hour time frame uh, to get some more reliability. So I'm, I'm expecting something like this. Then we drop down to 10.7, maybe find some support off of there for like one or two days. But I do expect within the next like week, week and a half, uh, I do expect another big drop down. So for Adam, that would mean a drop down to between 9.7 and 8 and like nine dollars i'd say i don't think we're going lower than than we did i don't think we're going to put in a lower low uh within the next uh, one and a one and a half week um within the next month it's possible but i, I expect a spike like this uh, and afterwards uh, to to go up to 11.5 again but what happens from there <clears throat> Uh, really depends on, on those market circumstances and it's a, it's a little bit too early right now to, to accurately predict that. Um, but this is a short term analysis definitely for like the next uh, couple of days and the next week for Atom. Uh, if anything changes, anything major changes, I will definitely uh, do an update on it. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in that. Uh, as for now though, uh, thank you all for watching and listening. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching and listening and I uh, hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.